habari gani wasela what's up my good people um ni b boy karibu spectra music so um i've been working on this uh, pacha preset kwa FL Studio but then to me FL Studio 20 FL Studio 20 is what i'm using for those who don't understand kiswahili um okay i'm going to take you through what i've just done i love you if you all like it and would love to like dab into it um just hit me up in the comments or whatever i will provide the download link so yeah let's get into it the name is para iso you don't ask where i got the name from uh so what it does is basically it fucks with the sound excuse my language uh really uh it utilizes the chorus and flanger and the phaser effects to give a blended sound the way i want it hopefully the way you want it too uh, when it's available for download very little processing of uh, the audio signal sorry excuse me uh i'm using parallel processing to process the audio signal and uh okay let's get straight into the signal part let me switch the tabs and here we go so from the source it goes straight into the limiter where i just do a little bit of saturation just at the top cv um then it goes uh, to split the frequency into three the high mids and the lows then each signal goes into the fx chamber where it meets up with the uh, three effects that I, i just said uh, i just told you about uh, the chorus flanger and the phaser effects so from there it goes straight into the limiter up here um where this is like limiting not much happening up uh, then um from there it heads to the visual eq where the only purpose i have it on is just to see visually where the frequencies are hitting so from the visual eq we go into the comp the compressor i'm just using a, a stock compressor from fl studio that's the fruity multiband compressor i don't have a preset on so i tweaked it manually to this preset i think i'll also provide the preset with you no uh, if i give you the patcha preset it comes up with uh, with everything just saved up so don't worry about it uh, and from the compressor it goes out the output just goes straight to fl studio and uh, that's what you're hearing from my speaker so let me give you a little bit of demonstration Uh, I say show you how the controls work. Um so let me turn everything down. Uh and solo a sound. Something like Um let me let me turn it up. by the way the beat is something i made on my own cool let me turn up the signal with the entry ceiling um, see right there i'm hitting with the highs and the mids everything from the low is totally out let me turn up the mid so you can hear the difference so majorly right now uh, what's happening is the phaser and uh, the flanger met together and produced a baby that's what you hear you let me show the chorus xy 
So the X, X is the filter processing and the Y on the chorus X, Y is a, a cut of frequency. Right now it's the highs and lows. Same thing. And then we also have the exit ceiling, which uh, if we take it all the way down, all the effects are off. And if we take it all the way up, you get 100%, which is uh, cringy, gassy. But right about there, 85% is just fine. With the X and Y right there, the main X and Y. Um, X controls the saturation of the whole signal and Y controls the filter type. You have two filter types. Uh, the filter the filter is on the fruity uh, multiband compressor. So we have the double IR and the, the FIR. This is what the Y parameter controls. So yeah, I think that's about it. Um, hopefully, when this is done, it will be a lot looking a lot better. Um, right now, there's not even colors on it. Maybe I'll change up the knobs or something. The controls look a little bit uh, better, professional, to say. Yeah, and also I wanna add uh, like a B part where I process the signal with a serial processor. This is parallel, so I wanna do serial processing, and in the end, both parts just. Uh, join in to one output, if that makes any sense. Um, 